Hi, I'm Clara. Let's continue the SEPTAD software now. It has been our eighth video. Let's go. We can open the setting box layer parameter settings by clicking the button layer. It includes almost all the technical parameters required for processing. The first page of the setting box is global parameter. It will help us to set parameters not only the layers, including motion parameters, default parameters of laser and gas, follow parameters, and so on. We'll talk it later. Today we'll focus on the layer. Here we can have multiple layers as our requirement and set the parameters of this layer separately by clicking every layer. But the parameter setting is the same. We'll just take layer 1 as example. Let's talk the options here. If we take reduce lift, the cutting head will not lift for a short empty travel. Pre-peers allows to perform a perforation before the formal cutting. When we are going to cut some stainless steel with a film covered, we can tick the D film and set the parameters here. Like we are going to cut the rectangle, it will perform two actual cuttings. First is for the film, which will follow the parameters here to run the cutting. Recool will enable to run the cutting path again under laser off and gas on. It will help to cool the plate down. If we are operating a marking function, we can take multi-cut to engrave the mark. Take the gas on, the machine will keep the gas on while it runs empty travels. Not cut will not cut the selected graphic. Not follow will disable the following function. The mod here, standard is the most used. If we choose fixed height, the cutting head will keep at fixed height. No following to run the cutting process. Out plate is used when we need to cut a plate from the outside of the plate. It's mainly used to cut mental plates off. Under the cut, cut speed is for setting actual cutting speed. There are acceleration and deceleration at the first and last sections as well as the corners. So the actual cutting speed is often less than the speed and not in a uniform speed. Lift head is the head we need to lift after the cutting head finishes a graphic, and it will keep the height until it's going to cut the next graphic. Nozzle head is the distance between the lower surface of the nozzle and the surface of the mental plate when the machine is cutting. Gas tab will allow us to choose the gas tabs. If there is a proportional valve for the gas, we can set the gas pressure here. Peak power, duty cycle, pulse frequency. I will explain them by graphic. The three parameters will influence the laser power. Peak power represents the emitted laser power. Like our machine is 1000 watt, if we set the peak power to 100, the power of emitted laser will be 1000 watt. We can take the rectangle as the peak power and imagine it's countable. Duty cycle tells us how many peak power will display in a period. If we set the duty cycle to 50, it says there will be half peak power covering the period. Let's see the graphic. There will be half rectangles, which the laser power is 100% emitted, and half empty distance, which there is no laser emission.
pulse frequency will tell us how many such this curve will display in a period. If we set it one thousand, there will be one thousand such curves in a second. We can get an average laser beam power by the parameters. Is laser power by peak power by duty cycle. If our machine is 1,000 watt, based on the parameters, the average laser beam power is 1,000 by 1 by 0 0.5. It should be 500 watt. If we configure with a cutting head which can change the beam width, we can set it here beam width. Focus position is the focus we set while cutting. If we set laser on delay 200, it will keep still for 200 ms as the laser and gas are both on after the cutting head follows to the nozzle head. It will expand the time to get through the mantle, which will be helpful in a more complete cutting. Laser off delay is mainly applied when the submotors cannot offer simultaneous feedbacks as the motion. It will ensure the cutting completed. Here the slow start and the slow stop enable to set the distance and the speed for the cutting start and the cutting stop. When we are going to cut some corners, the cutting speed will get slower. If we keep the same power and a slow speed to cut the corners, probably corners will get burned. So here we can apply the power curve here. It will help us to set a suitable power for slow cutting speed, which will be helpful in cutting corners. If we take power curve and frequency curve, the duty cycle and pulse frequency will get changed as the speed in the cutting process. We can click edit to adjust the power and frequency curve. We can see from the chart, the abscissa is the cutting speed percentage. The ordinate is the power percentage or frequency percentage. It's a little complicated to just introduce it. I will take an example here. Let's add two sides of data here. First, we make speed to 10 and power to 20. Second, let's put speed to 90, power to 100. A curve is shown here. Let's imagine the cutting speed gets to 40%. We can see the power will be around 50%. The power declines as the cutting speed gets slower. Do you have issues on your laser machines? Please put it in the comment below or contact us directly. Subscribe me here so that you get noticed as soon as I upload a video for you. Thank you. Bye.